heavy towing for a 4.8 Vortec. Should you do it? Let's talk about it. This is my 2003 Silverado, the 4.8 Vortec, four wheel drive. I just got back on a 230 mile trip towing another Silverado that we had just bought. Usually, I generally take that F350 Power Stroke right there to go tow, but it's making a weird noise and I didn't want to have to go all the way up there and have a breakdown, so I had to use this. Everything that I could find on the internet said that the 4.8 Vortec was rated around 7,500 pounds to tow with, with the 373 gears. Uh, 7,500 pound towing capacity is for what I looked up for my year, uh, 2003. Now, obviously, the newer ones, uh, 17s, 18s, uh, more technology equals more power, uh, therefore causing a bigger towing capacity. So if you have a newer one, uh, I would look up your towing capacity. However, it's probably somewhere still in the same neighborhood uh, at 7,500 pounds, but probably more, I would imagine. So I just bought the truck not too long ago and it came with a uh, Reese hitch receiver on it that was rated for 5,000 um, pounds. Now the actual uh, Silverado that I was towing is somewhere in the neighborhood of 5,000 pounds. So uh, and then plus the weight of the trailer. Now the, I have a flatbed trailer and that weighs somewhere in the neighborhood of like 2,000 pounds uh, give or take. So. I'm not going to go all that way uh, with a light duty hitch receiver, so I needed something that was more heavy duty. So I went to the local trailer shop and I got the new Kurt 10,000 pound rated hitch receiver. And I also got the lights hooked up, the seven wire flat, and then the smaller one for my boat. I also got this draw tight, delayed timing electronic brake controller installed as well. I must have, especially when you're towing something heavy. Now, I don't know if I really care for that draw tight brake controller all that much, but it got the job done. Uh, that's the draw tight activator four. So as I said, it was a 230 mile trip one way. I towed the trailer uh, up to Maryland. 230 miles uh, the truck obviously did just fine towing just the trailer that wasn't the, uh, the problem when I got to the location to pick up the truck um, I loaded it down on the trailer and it appeared the truck appeared to be squatting uh, a little bit more than it normally should but I kind of contribute that to my own fault as well because the trailer was not completely leveled out how it should be it was doing a slight nosedive but not very bad, but if I had it leveled out perfectly, I would have towed it a lot better. So after I got the other Silverado loaded up on my truck, it was time to pull out and go back home. So I traveled 230 miles with that loaded down uh, and I was not able to go fast. Uh, the entire way was ranging a speed limits from like 60 to like 70 and I was only able to go about 50 or 55. Now it's not because of the, the engine. The engine had the power to tow uh, the other truck, although it was sluggish. Uh, you're, I'm not, you're, if you have a 4.8 and you plan on doing a heavy tow, uh, you're not gonna win any races by doing so, but it'll do it. Uh, but it's definitely sluggish going up hills uh, and whatnot. Um, but I definitely strongly recommend the, uh, a, a good brake controller, that's for sure and a, a heavy solid hitch if you don't already have those things. I've towed about the same weight with another Sierra that I had with the 5.3 Vortec, and it was the Z71, and it did uh, a lot better. Um, like I said, the 4.8 has, kinda has the power, it's kinda hard to say, it has the power and it wants to pull it, it just struggles going up hills. But like I said, it'll get it done. If I can do it, you can do it. Now, I don't recommend doing it with the 4.8 every single day on a daily basis because you're just going to wear the truck down. I mean, it's a, it's a 1,500 half-ton pickup truck. It's not a three-quarter ton or a one-ton Duramax, Power Shark, or Cummins. 
Uh, it's eventually going to wear out the truck a lot quicker than it would on a heavy duty truck. Uh, but if you if you absolutely had to, if you were moving across country uh, and you had to tow like three, four, five thousand pounds, and you have a 4.8, then I would say you could do it. Um, but my combined weight with the trailer and the truck was somewhere in the neighborhood of 7,000 pounds, plus me and my toolbox and all the tools I carry. It was, it was getting right there at its max. Um, so, like I said, it did it, um, but I definitely wasn't winning any races. Like, it, the GPS said it was supposed to take me like three and a half hours to get back home, and it wound up taking me like five hours and 20 minutes with no traffic you know, because I was only on 50 miles an hour. If you're thinking about towing with your half ton 4.8 truck, as I stated previously, you definitely need to get a brake controller if you don't already have one. If you're possibly looking at a 4.8 Vortec to purchase and you think that you may have to tow with it, I recommend uh, you getting the 5.3 instead. Or if you're gonna be doing it on a regular basis nearly every day, then you definitely need to get a three quarter ton uh, truck <coughs> for a Chevy or a one ton. So in conclusion, the 4.8 Vortec has the power to tow near its its maximum weight capacity. Like I said, it's sluggish. Just please keep that in mind. Uh, I was I was still able to get up uh, fairly steep inclines, uh, but the engine was definitely screaming. Uh, and like I said, I wouldn't want to do this for a, an extended period of time or doing it every day. So if you have a 4.8 and you're thinking about having to tow something or you have to tow something, don't be afraid to do it because it'll do it. But just, just keep the, the towing capacity in mind and preferably try to stay around, like no more than 6,000 pounds and, and you'll be fine. So I hope this video helps somebody uh, out there that has one of these or something very similar to it. Uh, like I said, uh, you need the proper tools to do the job. So a heavy hitch, a heavy duty hitch uh, obviously you're definitely going to need lights and then you're also going to need the uh, brake controller also i recommend that you get uh, a big set of mirrors the mirrors on that truck uh, did just fine um, but in case your truck your particular body size has smaller mirrors maybe you should get aftermarket ones uh, or some of those ones that like attach to the end of the mirror to extend them out and uh preferably like load range rated D or E tires. This particular truck has low range D or I mean, excuse me, uh, E tires. And they did just fine. Uh, they actually did the great, they're the Michelin energy savers. All right, I hope this helps somebody. Thanks guys for watching. If you plan on doing heavy towing with your 4.8 half ton pickup truck, you need to get a brake controller, like I said. Uh, the half ton pickup truck stopping power when towing something that heavy, uh, so it's a little slow um, and probably not as safe as it should be. Uh, being that I had the brake controller on there, I was able to stop safely. So just keep that in mind. You need one. In the video, I stated I was only able to go about 50 to 55, um, but that's not due to uh, lack of performance or power in the engine. It was more so to deal with the uh, suspension in the back and how I stated the uh, trailer was doing kind of a little nose dive. So if the trailer had been leveled out a little bit more, uh, I could have probably done about like 60, but I wouldn't have wanted to push it no farther than that. Thanks guys.